So this is a new and kind of funky type uh, called tuple. Uh, tuples are a way to store values, multiple values, into one value. You'll commonly see tuples in a return statement uh, in a function. If you need to return multiple values, you can uh, pack them all into a tuple and return that, and then from there kind of decompose the tuple and pull out the values that you need. Uh, so for an example, we'll create a variable called my dog, and uh, you specify that it's a tuple by using the rounded parentheses and then putting commas in between the different values that you want to insert. So uh, we have an int of 42, a string of Ralph, and a boolean of true. So to get to these values, we can treat it uh, like an array. Uh, look later for more information on arrays, but uh, you know, to get to the value at index 0, it returns 42. We can also do number 1, uh, or the last one at number 2. Uh, that's kind of a quick way to move through it. Uh, another cool way that you can uh, get to these values if you uh, give names to the different values that are inside the tuple. So here when we create the my dog object, we're actually going to specify uh, names that are associated with the values. So for example, we say age colon 42, that's saying that the age is equal to 42. And here we have the name is Ralph and the boolean is a female is equal to true. So now on this my dog variable, we could say my dog dot age, and we have instant access to the age, and it's very clear in the code now what part of the tuple we're grabbing. We're saying, you know, is a female, we get the true. Um, and so those are ways that you can create tuples. Now, let's say you are getting a tuple back from some function or something, and uh, you want to kind of decompose it and just take uh, you know the parts of it and turn them into variables. Uh, this is really cool so you say var and then use those parentheses and uh, create variable names and put commas between them and what this does is it takes the my dog objects and it says okay what's the first uh, value that's in there okay 42 it's gonna put it into the age variable and then it takes the string Ralph and puts it into name and so now I mean, uh, instead of doing my dog dot those things, we could just say age, and we instantly get the age or name, things like that. Uh, and to take this a step further of how cool this is, let's say we got a got back the tuple uh, with you know the dog's age, name, and whether it's a female or not. But I really just want to know the name of it. Uh, if you put a underscore in the spaces that you don't want, you can. Say I just want the name. Now, uh, the only value that we pull out of my dog is name, and we're good to go, right? So if we, you know, said age, or is a female, we have a problem. But uh, we do have this name variable now. Uh, so that's a cool, neat trick that you can get uh, using Swift. Uh, again, you're going to see the, these mostly in. Uh, functions that need to return multiple values and we'll touch on that just a little bit later.